talking about ordering worship. You remember when God created the world, the Spirit is hovering over the waters of chaos, and God begins to speak words, light, living creatures, separate, land from sea. Every different day, God is speaking a word that is bringing forth an order that is bursting out in creativity. The chaos becomes subdued by creativity. And the way there is order. The mistake we most often make in this kind of idea is we want to take control. That's exactly what happened in the garden. God creates the man and the woman. He says, very good. And what happens? They seize control. Right? They're seeking after some sort of a equality with God. Right? You eat this apple, you'll be like God. Now, what happens at that point? Chaos re-enters and begins to wreak havoc on the creation. Really, squelching creativity. You see, worship is a place where dynamic creativity is constantly born. It just brings up an authentic worship as a kind of an imagination of God's kingdom. And you see, when, when we order worship well, then our world becomes well ordered. This is how the new creation works. We're going to say a lot more about that to come. But think about this. God sends His Son, Jesus, and the beginning of Jesus' memory, uh, the beginning of Jesus' uh, ministry is where? Right there in the waters. Again, chaotic waters. He comes into a chaotic world. He, the Creator, He's standing in the waters. The Spirit descends upon Him, and the Word of God speaks from heaven, My Son, My Beloved, with you I am well pleased. In other words, very good. That's why He is our worship leader. That's why Jesus is the order. 